Hey guys, how's it going? So one of the more annoying chores of this job of building these list stops is drilling and tapping all the holes right here for the cursor, like I'm doing a hundred at a time. So pretty big chore. I want to come up with a way that I can accurately tap those holes nice and straight every time quickly and easily. So surfing the internet, I kind of, there's a commercial version of a hand tapping machine. So that's what I want to build just like a little mini version of it because it's just a 1032 tap. So I went to my local like metal recycling place to get a few pieces of scrap, aluminum, really cheap. And then I went to Home Depot, got some 3 8 rod and a couple bushings to go along with it. So let's see what we can come up with. Right, this is what we built so far. This is basically like an overhung arm with some bushings in it. And that's what's gonna let the tap holder move up and down and, and make sure everything stays nice and square. Now, before I go ahead and build the rest of this uh, tap holder, what I wanna do is build some positioners. And that's so that I can put each one of my stops in the exact same location. So I need an adjustable positioner right here and as well as right here. So that's what I'll go ahead and build now. All right, so I think we're jigged up here pretty good. We got a little clamp, which I had from a previous project, by the way. That's why you didn't see me make that, but pretty simple. You could slide this in, and I got an adjustable stop here and here to make sure that I get my tap right where it needs to go. So that's pretty well it for the base. Now we just gotta finish up this tap holder, and that's gonna be pretty simple as well. I just need to drill a hole dead center in here, which would be really easy if you had a lathe, but I don't have a lathe, so I'm gonna try to do it in a drill press and then I need a T handle on this side. So that's what I'll go ahead and do now. Thank you. 
Hey guys, this thing turned out actually pretty sweet. It works awesome. So it's jigged up for these little brackets that I make, right? So you can fit it right in there and get it right where you need it every time. Now, I don't have anything, any of these right now that need to be drilled. They have to be painted first. But just to show you how it works, set this in here like so. Clamp it down. A little bit of oil. And that's it. Works pretty awesome. Now, I made this little handle to do it by hand. I'll probably never do it by hand because it works just so well with a cordless drill. I'll show you what I mean. Take this off quick and easy. Move this over to the next hole. Lock it down. And now I could put flats on this, but I chose not to because I'd actually rather the drill chuck slip here before it broke my tap. So I'm gonna keep it just round like that. And then put it in low gear and you're good to go. like that works pretty awesome all right guys that's it for this week i hope you guys enjoyed this as much as i did and until next time i'm ryan nodwell thanks for watching